What is blocking the absorption? Calcium, dairy. Do not take it with those things. Tea, coffee. Keep it away from those things by a couple hours. Legumes, inflammation. If you're somebody who's inflamed, that in itself is going to really hinder the quality of absorption. Baritin truly reflects your iron reserve. And many of you have been told if those levels are high, that perhaps you have hemochromatosis. It's an acute phase reactant. So many of you, again, just overall have a lot of inflammation for various reasons in your body that needs to be worked on that is causing that to be artificially elevated. I see these levels change a lot after endometriosis excision surgery is where I see it most. I have three patients that come to head. They came to my office. They were told they have hemochromatosis, never had genetic testing for it, red flag. You need to have genetic testing before you know if you have that. And had excision surgery and poof, magically after that, their levels now showed iron deficiency. They were off the charts low, but they were elevated before that. So lots of things that kind of go into that, but ruling out inflammation in your body. So if you're deficient in iron, you can see how this is the whole body, not just one part of it. Oxygen, fatigue, shortness of breath, metabolic brain fog, low energy, feeling cold all the time. So it's not just one system. 